Yo, what's happening people? This is Lokai Okori. Thank you very much for joining me today. I never wanted to have to do this video. I didn't want to have to do the video I did a couple months ago where I told you guys why I was never going to eat tuna fish again because it comes from the Pacific Ocean. But it's come time for me to sound the alarm, sound the warning to everybody all around the world. No matter where you live on this planet, if you've been eating food, seafood, that is sourced from the Pacific Ocean, I need to ask you to stop. I need to ask you to stop right now. The radiation levels in the food are out of control. For those of you who are not aware, back in March of 2011, there was a disaster, a triple core meltdown at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant on the east coast of Japan. And ever since that happened, that plant in TEPCO, the Tokyo Electric Power Company that runs the place, has been dumping tons and tons, thousands and thousands of tons of nuclear waste into the Pacific Ocean, radiating the whole place in the northern hemisphere. There is a pile, a huge pile, thousands and thousands of miles of dead sea life on the floor of the Pacific Ocean right now, killed by the radiation from Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Not only that, but China recently has put a ban on all shellfish coming from the United States West Coast states of Oregon, Washington, and Northern California. They say that it has to do with arsenic levels. I'm not buying it. I believe it has to do with the radiation from Fukushima. And a lot of people on the west coast of America, like in California, for example, are looking at the ocean in awe at all the dolphins and all the whales coming to eat all the smaller creatures that have come right up to the coastline, hundreds, thousands of them, more than normally show up. These people think it's amazing. It's not amazing. What's happening is the radiation all the way west to Japan and flowing all the way east to the west coast of America is pushing all these animals towards the coast because they have nowhere else to go. Not only this, but the Alaskan pink salmon, pink salmon, is starting to turn yellow. I'm going to put some links down below so you guys can get the most up-to-date information on this disaster. It is terrible. It is way out of control and the powers that be, the governments of the world, are doing jack shit about it. There is a huge cover-up going on worldwide about this nuclear disaster right now. The government of Japan recently passed a law making it illegal for their journalists to talk about it. They're basically talking about imprisoning journalists for even writing about the Fukushima nuclear disaster which is ongoing and is going to be ongoing for the next 100,000 to 200,000 years. I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not, but nuclear radiation doesn't just disappear. The nuclear radiation from this thing has gone around the planet multiple times already. It's affecting you and your family and your loved ones and your friends as we speak. And it's going to continue to affect us for the rest of our lives. So you need to start taking action right now to protect yourselves from it. Now I'm not saying that you need to go out and spend a shit ton of money on nascent iodine or go buy some potassium iodide tablets like the ones I have in my basement right now. But it's getting pretty close to that point. And it's definitely at the point where you need to stop eating Pacific seafood. There's nothing that comes from the Pacific Ocean that you can eat that is safe. That goes for tuna, swordfish, shark, shrimp, uh, whale, anything. If you guys eat any of that stuff, you need to stop eating it right now. And especially stop feeding it to your young children. If there's one more earthquake that hits the east coast of Japan and these reactors melt down any more than they've already melted down, it's bye-bye Japan. You can wave bye-bye to the nation of Japan. There are already people all over the nation of Japan reporting symptoms of radiation sickness, babies being born with birth defects, little kids with nosebleeds, and the government is trying to sweep it under the rug and say it's the flu or it's something else. It's not something else. It's the ongoing disaster known as the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant meltdown. I'm going to do what I need to do from this point on. You guys do what you need to do. If you need any more information on what you can do to protect your family and your loved ones from this disaster, send me a message. I will help you out. But at the very least, stop eating seafood from the Pacific Ocean. I'm begging you. Do it for you. Do it for your loved ones. Especially, do it for your little ones. If you've got some little kids, please don't feed them that crap. Please. Until next time, don't forget, it's still never too late to be who we could have been. Respect the vessel. Peace out.